initiation into a spiritual journey okay so where mantra diksha is a initiation into mantra japa yes so the mantra japa it starts from loud it becomes ajapa it then it becomes mental japa mm. sorry it, it becomes mental upamsho it becomes mental then it becomes ajapa mm. japa to ajapa is the journey of mantra initiation mm. okay when you come to ajapa the mantra stops japa is at the mental level ajapa is that consciousness level mm. so when initiation is done the initiation means that i am giving you this mantra but i am going to take you all the way to ajapa i am holding your hand to go take your path in the japa to ajapa okay that is the meaning of initiation okay understand yes so it's like marriage sir in marriage boy and girl come together the boy says i am your boy i am you are my wife and girl says i am your husband uh, you are my husband so that is the initiation of marriage the journey begins now okay throughout your journey there should be mutual support as husband and wife so diksha is not the end the entire process is spiritual journey so whatever you support you get from a master for that entire process is the spiritual journey it requires a lot of contemplation meditation thinking everything is required it's a package deal it's not a piece correct you understand what i'm saying yes sir so that piece you have to take from guru who diksha guru who has given to you the complete piece mm -hmm. okay it is not one point it's a package mm -hmm. so that package should take you to all the way to ajapa okay so diksha if it's initiation but without a following process then it is not complete right understood yes absolutely so yes. from ramkrishna mission mission whatever mantra you have taken follow that complete package whatever is that mm -hmm. all the way up to ajapa mm -hmm. okay and what is the validity of diksha is validity of diksha is when you receive a diksha from a higher source so that will give a jump in your spiritual sadhana yes your spiritual sadhana let's say you are going like this diksha will take you next level and guidance which follows diksha will take you to that this level clan in purity in in purification correct okay so that is diksha diksha is a beginning but diksha is not the end right journey is the path and then in that journey you have to follow the guru correct now here the challenge the challenge what challenge comes is when people say you have to follow one guru okay the source is one the teachings are many then what happen if you listen to multiple teachings there will be conflict between the teachings and confusion between the teachings mind is already confused you get confused by the multiple teachings right so that's why he said follow one guru okay ye always in life we come across many gurus the gurus are not one guru means physical body atma is only one guru everywhere we have come across many gurus my mother my father my school teacher like that one who gives a good introduction to you good takes you a journey in a spiritual path is called acharya is not called a guru okay we confuse the gold guru with the acharya acharya is one who takes you gives you good information knowledge about a path but acharya himself is not able to take you to the destination because he himself has not reached so one who has reached the destination is called sadguru and diksha from a sadguru is your end of spiritual journey not a beginning of spiritual journey are we clear ji prabhu clear any doubts no not at all okay